How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have the Arc Commander Blitz from the Star Wars Clone Wars 20th Anniversary Walmart exclusive. You can tell by the nice little crease in the card that this is obviously shipped by Walmart. If you saw my short earlier, you saw my nice little reveal on this. Uh, I'm really digging the Blitz card where, you know, it has the diamond pattern and little steel from the, the cartoon. But let's go ahead and get this guy off the bubble so we can take a look at the last Walmart exclusive Arc Commander that they've done. I'm super excited to get this guy finished, or this lineup finished. Unfortunately, I did spend the money to get a original Clone Wars Blitz. And that did cost me a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy out of the bubble. Oh. I really do dig these, these art commanders. I know a lot of people are upset at Hasbro for all of these art commanders. And having them being Walmart exclusives. Oh, that was a nice little job right there. See if I can't find that real quick. And there it is. Those blaster pistols are just very, very easily lost. Go ahead and throw that in the garbage. And there we have it. I'm not expecting this guy to be anything different than all the other Arc Commanders. So he does have the double ball joint neck, the free floating pauldron with backpack. You know what? One thing I don't know if I've ever checked. Is that backpack a separate piece from the pauldrons or is it all one? It is technically molded in two pieces, so you can pop that out or just go ahead and trim it if you don't want the, the backpack attached. But I dig the backpack attached for the, the ARC Troopers. And let's see, does he suffer? Haha! -ha! So he does have a little bit larger helmet, so the head does slip or the head does slip right in. You don't have the terror chin syndrome like's happening on the 212 troopers right now then it does have the pivotable range finder shoulder articulation that's pretty good you know like i said i'm not expecting him to be any different than the standard arc troopers that we've already had so the the hip articulation is good little little affected by the i forgot what it is i just always call it the skirt but i know star wars has a tech technical name for it blaster pistols do go in and then once again as i've mentioned in all my other videos you do have to be careful because those holsters do not hold those pistols very well yeah i've had them just where the figure has tipped over in a display and the blaster pistols have fallen out then you get that on the back Oh, did I mention the rocker ankles? I think I've mentioned that in videos before. And then, you know, I absolutely love how this one ARC Trooper can hold all four weapons that he comes with. But yet, we can get figures that don't even have a holster for the one gun they get. Uh, might, you know, interrupt their, their design or something. I don't know what the deal is. But there you have it. There is ARC Commander Blitz from, I think, this was the Siege of Kaminoa? That they or the defense of Kaminoa that they that he perished in when Jesse or Echo and Fives got their chance and their push up to be ARC troopers on the battle. Uh, but there you have it, guys. There is the Walmart exclusive ARC Commander Blitz. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, both on Viper 9 Toy Videos. And thank you for watching.